Every day on The Breakfast, we always like to share with you certain big or maybe small events that happened in history um, as far back as the 18th, 16th, 17th century and as recent as maybe even last year. And of course, we're not going to be doing any different this morning. Yes, indeed. Well, we're looking at what happened today. Uh, political shenanigans continue even as uh, far back as the 1800s. Um, you get to know why I said that in a bit. Now, on this day in 1865, uh, the, by proclamation of the U.S. Secretary of State, uh, the 13th Amendment to the Constitution outlawing slavery officially entered into force, having been ratified by the requisite states on December 6th. Uh, and this ensures that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction uh, that's on this day. Now, let's talk about the picture of that man you're looking uh, at on the screen, Abraham Lincoln. Um, <laughs> the political shenanigans I mentioned has to do with the fact that when he went ahead to do the Emancipation Proclamation um, way back, in, I think in 1863, um, it was not because of the goodness of his heart or because he really at that point wanted to abolish slavery. There were so many political issues around it. However, he knew that if he did do something, he will get some favor. Before the, civilian, the American uh, Civil War, um, Lincoln and other leaders of the anti-slavery Republican Party sought not to abolish slavery for, but merely to stop its extension into new territories and states in the American West. Even when his hands uh, was forced by the Civil War, all he did was the, like I mentioned, the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863. Uh, calling on the Union Army to liberate all enslaved people in the states uh, still in rebellion as an act of justice warranted by the Constitution upon military uh, necessity. Um, I hope those words are, are sticking out uh, for you. Well, but after the war, um, he knew that, I mean, that will not keep the changes that has been accepted. So he pushed for uh, this the change in the American uh, Constitution that put it in law that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist anywhere in the United States. Uh, the Republican Party introduced it in the 18th Amendment into Congress, and in April of 1864, the necessary two-thirds of the overwhelmingly Republican Senate passed the amendment. The rest, as they say, is history, Absolutely. Absolutely. and we're talking about it right now. So abolition of stra uh, slave trade in the United States became official today. Day in 1865. Yes, um, if you also read a little, you know, backward, you know, you also find out, you know, it, it had been going on um, by the Portuguese, you know, as early as 1619. You know, it eventually then spread to the United States after a Portuguese ship was uh, seized, you know, and they found um, Africans, they called them Negroes. Uh, um, on the ship, about 20 uh, plus Negroes, and then it now became a thing in the United States, you know, from there. Um, it's uh, an exhausting but, um, you know, interesting read if you have all the time. It's, there's so to, much of it. You know, yeah. there, there's also, you know, and it's a part of this whole conversation that a lot of people don't get to speak of, you know, come to speaking about it, and that is the role that Africans themselves played with regards to slavery. Um, the Portuguese, the Americans, they didn't just come here and capture people and throw them, you know. Uh, of the course, ship. the chiefs were, and the yes, head you know, people. There, there's a particular um, name, um, Waubani, or, um, I think it's Waubani, a, a man who was very popular. Um, then he still has, of course, a lot of people, you know, in his lineage that are alive today that um, was one of the biggest slave traders uh, from the southeast in Nigeria. If you if you also read through the major places where slavery happened, Senegal... Oh, the, the, the conversation uh, around slavery is not confined to one part of Africa. Every yes, part of Africa absolutely. and many parts of the world have experienced it. The, 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 the thing at, at that point, that's the thing about the shifting morality as we go. At that point, there were slaves even in Africa. 
you had traditional rulers who had slaves to themselves. Yeah. So they selling those slaves was like almost a normal thing for them. They you see how we've evolved to see that servitude is indeed a crime against humanity. And this in Nigeria then, according to history, they, they used to capture people from the you know neighboring villages. Mm -hmm. um, and you know some of those people were sold into slavery. There, there was also the part where they sell off a family member that they weren't pleased with. Yeah, you, the, you see some of that was recapped and things fall apart. Yes, you know, so so yes, you know, there are people in Africa who played a major role. Their names are rarely ever mentioned, you know, but they played a major role um, in you know the whole transatlantic slave trade, you know. But um, there's no time. So for much it. to talk about, but yes. no time. Let's move from 1865 to. 2018, when, of course, uh, a very, very sad day in Nigeria's history, the uh, killing and assassination of Air Chief Marshal Alex uh, Sabundu Bade. He was the 18th Chief of Air Staff of Nigeria and, of course, the 15th Chief of Defense Staff between 2014 and 2015. He was killed on this day along the Abuja Kefi Road um, and, of course, um, was a four star general. So much controversy over his death. Um, uh, there were arrests made months and months later, you know, till today, nobody has been found guilty of um, his murder. Of course, there was also different narratives, you know, as to why he was killed or how he died. Uh, the, some of the people that were arrested um, claimed that, oh, they heard that he was going to buy land, he was going to pay for a farm. And, you know, they it was actually to get on his way from, from his farm, from, from, yeah, when and he was They wanted attacked. to get the money from him, and so that's why he was killed. His family said they didn't believe all those testimonies. Uh, the DSS, the Nigerian police, of course, continue to you know make arrests here and there, but till date, still no solid um, answer to his murder. And it adds to a list of you know numerous, plenty, plenty, plenty Nigerians who have been assassinated, maybe in similar fashion, but you know um, very popular personalities. Um, whose investi um, deaths have still not Yet been be, investigated. Um, Funcho Williams, Bolaige. Bolaige. You, you would never, you know, not call that name. <laughs> when, um, yes, when, when you talk about issues like this. But um, it, it's imperative we uh, highlight the fact that just like we talked about the Pope and Buhari yesterday, this man rose through the ranks. He did his time. He served this country. Yes, along the line, things happen, but it doesn't change the fact that this was a very prominent and very committed Nigerian. If you Absolutely. look at his career history, um, we know that uh, he joined the Nigerian Defense Academy as a member of the 21 regular course on January 3rd, 1977. I don't think my parents have even thought about having us at that time. Mm. Uh, he was commissioned as um, a pilot officer um, in July of that year. Uh, it is safe to say he he really worked hard and the usual story of the son of a peasant farmer yes. uh, that was uh, how he's from Adamo estate um, but we must highlight of course some of the controversies around uh, his name in 2016 he was accused of financial impropriety yes. by the EFCC although even then he denied completely that he had any hand in it well I don't he, know he what the still, investigation... When he, when he was killed, he was still, you know... Being, being investigated. Tried and being yeah. investigated. You know, there was meant to be court uh, cases and his uh, testimonies in court um, over the uh, misuse of about $3.9 billion. His son, I think, was also one of the people who was named... In the um, in cases. ...that whole um, controversy, in that whole case, you know. But um, eventually, after his death, of course, that case was um, thrown out was, uh, by the courts. Um, till tomorrow, we will never be able to actually know, know whether what he was happened. Guilty because or not, I mean, so. he he died. He didn't plan to die, but he did die. And um, as usual, there were commiseration from the president and um, other top government official, um, officials uh, saying yes. that uh, he was a great Nigerian, and I believe he was a great Nigerian uh, as well. May his soul continue to rest in peace. So, in 2018, we lost the Air Chief Mashal. Alex Bade um, to gunmen. He's not. He's. Um, I would also quickly mention before we go. He. I, have, I always will quickly mention. Um, <laughs> if you remember, also the death of uh, General Al Kali, I believe that was his mm. name. He was also one of the uh, top high-ranking members of the Nigerian Army who was killed um, in a very, very terrible way. Um, and we, you know, the country still has, you know, not been able to get to the root of some of these murders. <laughs> 
Um, but we, we, we need uh, the investigations not to die. I think this would be a good opportunity to call on relevant authorities not to let these men who served the country all their lives, not part of it, all their lives, they deserve more, they deserve justice, um, find the killers and have them uh, face the law. Absolutely. I guess that's what uh, happened today in history. That there are lots of other issues, but we just pick a few and highlight them for you. If you are a history buff, it's a good time to go catch up, find out what happened today. You can share with us on social media. Uh, let's see the kind of uh, issues uh, that you like to remember that happened today in history. 10 years ago today, um, or yesterday actually, the Arab Spring started. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to throw I that in. I have an idea. The kind the of Arab things you Spring were like started, um, the controversial, yes. the, the controversial ones. This was it was the day that the trader set himself on fire, um, oh, that yeah. ignited the Arab Spring and changed you know history for forever. It, it, it's, it's, Hello, right. hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.